Hey, welcome to this episode of In the Shop with Scott. This week, I get the logo put in the mini canoe to match the full size. Also work on a couple other projects and have a visitor in the shop to borrow some tool time. So, hope you enjoy the video. The first project required pulling the miter station out from the wall and getting it ready to cut down a barrel stave. I'm cutting down a barrel stave for a sign that I'll engrave. I want to cut right where the band was on the barrel, but since this is placed face down I needed to make a couple marks that were visible for the cut. Jumping back over to the charcuterie board I was working on last week, I used some Starbond CA glue to fill in lots of little holes that was left um, after planing it down. I sprayed with the accelerator so that I could sand within a few seconds. I started with 80 grit and then worked up to 120, smoothing out all these spots. With the sanding complete, I sprayed it with water to raise the grain and then set it aside to dry. With that board drying, I set up the laser engraver to work on the sign. It's super convenient having this mounted under my workbench on full drawer slides so I can pull it out when needed and tuck out of the way when I'm not using it. To prep the engraving, I need to determine the width and length that will fit on the piece, set my speed and resolution. And then I have to focus the laser. With that set, I have the program trace the frame to make sure I'm on the piece exactly where I want to be. And then I can let it run. This sign's special. My daughter recently got engaged and this will be her new last name. And hopefully displayed in their house for a long time to come. To seal it I go to Total Boat's Halcyon water-based varnish. It really brings out the uh, grain in this white oak. and the deep red staining from the wine that this barrel once held. My buddy Nick from Nashville Timber showed up to run some eight quarter ash through the joiner for a tabletop he's working on. It's always fun to have a visitor in the shop. The next thing I worked on was prepping some poplar veneer to use for the logo on the mini canoe so that it would match the full size canoe. A few passes through the drum sander got it down to about a uh, thickness of two or three sheets of paper. Then firmly in place in the engraver I could cut out the logo. A couple passes and it was ready to go. Before I could add the logo I needed to prep the epoxy I applied the last few weeks. This gives the new epoxy something to adhere to and also smooths out any imperfections or air pockets that might have been in those coats. This was one of the steps that definitely was a lot easier on the mini canoe versus the full size. It only took maybe 20 minutes instead of a couple days. I backed off all the loose dust and then using some isopropyl alcohol, I gave the canoe a full wipe down. Using some more of the Total Boat Epoxy, I applied a full coat to the inside of the canoe. I let this get a little tacky and then I added in the logo I cut out and worked that into the correct placement. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you get notified when new videos come out. Thank you.